Emipel is really a whole new category in topical cosmeceuticals. It's non-hormonal estrogen receptor activation for patients who have estrogen deficient skin. So patients that are perimenopausal or menopausal that are losing some of the collagen and some of the structural support to their skin, we now have a way to specifically target their skin estrogen receptors and use this in the context of some of the other procedures that we as dermatologists and plastic surgeons do in our offices. Up until now, there has not been a specific category of topical cosmeceuticals to address estrogen deficient skin. So many patients aren't even aware that this is an option. There's a lot of excitement about estrogen non-hormonal receptor activators, in particular Biopel's new product, Emipel, using MEP technology. Right, so uh, MEP is an estrogen receptor agonist. So this is a non-hormonal treatment. It's essentially a sterile ester that activates the estrogen receptor. So it's an estrogen receptor agonist but it's not a hormone. And we are seeing more and more women living longer and longer lives, and so therefore they're living more of the percentages of their lives in menopause. And we are starting to see more women complaining about the signs of menopause on their skin. They can develop dryness, they can develop thinning or atrophy, even itching, but certainly wrinkles, uh, and certainly the signs of aging. I mean, basically a woman loses 30% of her collagen in the first five years after menopause, and then about 2% more per year thereafter. So I think we're going to see more and more women complaining about the signs of menopause, but not realizing it was caused by menopause. They think it's just normal aging. But the problem with using topical estrogens such as estradiol is that there's a potential for absorption. So although it might improve these premature aging parameters in our patients, we have the issue of potential absorption. So MEP, which is the active agent in Emipel, is a non-hormonal estrogen agonist. It actually interacts with the estrogen receptor on the surface of keratinocytes and fibroblasts. It stimulates epidermal thickening. Uh, it can help increase collagen and elastin and actually help hydrate and moisturize the skin and reverse some of those signs that we see in our patients who are postmenopausal. A study that was published by Zoe Dralos in Journal of Drugs and Dermatology in November of 2018 looked at 60 patients that were using this ingredient, MEP, and it is found that MEP activates these estrogen receptors and upregulates these estrogen receptors and helps combat some of this dryness and dullness in terms of the skin and improves the luminosity to the skin. But once into the bloodstream, there's only inactive metabolite that's actually present. From a clinical standpoint, she had an 80 patient study that really showed many of the things that you're describing in terms of improvement in dryness and irritation yes. and itchiness and some of the fine lines and wrinkles as yes. well. Dr. Dralos performed a, a safety study and an efficacy study. And the safety study showed that there is no active MEP in the bloodstream after treatment with Amipel. All of the MEP is broken down to a non-active metabolite called carboxylic acid with no estrogenic activity. And then her clinical studies showed efficacy in improving moisturization, hydration, and smoothness of the skin. And I know you're performing a clinical study right now looking at the regimen of using the serum in the morning and the cream at night for patients with premature aging of the skin, but who were postmenopausal. So we have a postmenopausal open label study that's really interesting and the pictures are showing fantastic results. Emipel is really a breakthrough technology that is really meant for our patients who are perimenopausal, who want to improve the appearance of their skin. They're seeking our advice as dermatologists and plastic surgeons, understanding that we have procedures to offer them as well, but this is a maintenance therapy that they will be incorporating into their overall skincare regimen along with sun protection from a long-term perspective.